ओके नाउ लेट्स लुक एट एन प्रैक्टिकल एग्जांपल ऑफ सीक्वेंशियल सर्किट दैट इज सीरियल एडर वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट बिफोर इट लुक्स लाइक दिस सो यू हैव सम बिट्स ऑफ एक्स एंड एक्स जीरो एंड सम बिट्स ऑफ एक्स वन यू कैन सी बिट बाय बिट दे आर कमिंग यू हैव अ सीरियल एडर एंड इट इज गिविंग यू आउटपुट बिट बाय बिट एडिशन इज हैपनिंग ओके दिस दिस सर्किट वी हैव सीन बिफोर बट नाउ वी विल बी लुकिंग एट अ परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ सिक्वेंशियल सर्किट ओके वॉट ऑल थिंग्स वी हैव लर्न विल अप्लाई हियर ओके सो यू कैन टेक इट एज एन एग्जाम्पल सीरियल एडर ऑफ अ सिक्वेंशियल सर्किट यू कैन सी वी हैड अ फ्लिप फ्लॉप हियर एंड फुल एडर फुल एडर वी इज टेकिंग वन वन बिट एट अ टाइम एंड इट इज गिविंग यू आउटपुट सो वन बिट वन बिट वन बिट अनदर बिट अनदर बिट यू आर गेटिंग आंसर राइट सो एक्स जीरो एंड एक्स वन इज वन वन बिट फ्रॉम दिस uh number and ci is your carry in okay that is what fuel flip uh, full adder takes and it is producing output sum that is z and carry out right carry out is being stored in a flip flop so that it can be used in the next bit addition that is how you do addition right um if you have 010 and 101 uh or let me call it as Uh, one zero like this. Okay, so what you will do? You will add these two guys. One plus one is zero. Carry one. So this carry is being stored so that it can be added with the next bits, right? So that is how uh, the working happens. Now this thing, why we can uh, look it at the perspective of sequential circuit? Because you have bunch of inputs, you have output, you have a flip flop that makes it next state and present state. so you have all the four elements of sequential circuit next state present state input output hence you can design it using a sequential circuit okay that's how you have to think uh, whenever you are uh, formulating a problem into a uh, sequential circuit problem okay so first we'll be making through mele type then we'll be making it via mele type so mele type what happens is output depends on present state as well as input so our inputs are x1 and x0 two inputs we are having here and present state is what present state is the present state of carry means carry before addition before addition after uh, uh, before addition sorry after addition carry will be next state right next state of the carry will be carry after addition which is here this is present state this is next state okay right so um, flip flop is just storing it so here you can see next state is also a function of some other function uh, i should write some g uh, some other function of input as well as present state that is what happens in mele uh, type machine uh, your input uh, your output as well as next state depends on the input as well as the present state right present state is the carry because flip flop is uh, here only it is used it is a one bit flip flop because only one bit at a time we are handling so present state of the carry is this uh, q0 and uh, next state will be the q0 plus right so it will be calculated here and it is stored here and then it will be uh, used again right so i hope you are getting the feel uh, you are getting the touch how it is uh, being related to sequential circuit now i'm going to make a state diagram and a state table and you will see how it is being converted into sequential uh, problem okay okay so now here i what i have done is i have made a state diagram of uh, what we have uh, seen before serial adder uh, mele type it is you can see and uh, this is the state table so i'll be explaining this so how did i made <clears throat> so 0 and 1 are the two states only possible because there is only one flip flop the two states could be the carry could be 0 or carry could be 1 right so the, that's why only two states are there now how is this being made i'll tell you see for all these conditions when the input see inputs are two right here you can see x0 and x1 so when the input is 0 0 you can see 0 0 and your carry is 0 before addition before addition then overall the output will be 0 and your carry is 0 only right so that's why this line goes here only similarly if you have total four combinations 0001101 so 01 when you will have 01 x0 x1 and carry is before addition is 
then if you will add you will get output 1 output 1 you are getting but carry is still 0 so that's why this line goes again back here now if you have 1 0 1 0 carry is 0 right again the output is 1 here you can see but the carry is 0 only and final case if you will see 1 1 x 0 x 1 and uh, carry is 0 you can see the addition 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 right this 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 and this 0 plus 0 is 0 that's why <coughs> overall it is 0 output is 0 but carry is 1 carry is 1 that's why it changes state from 0 to 1 right so that is how it is being made similarly you can see here in 1 your carry is 1 right so when your input is 0 0 uh, let me take 0 1 first so input is 0 1 your carry is 1 before addition so if you will do the addition you will get 0 and carry 1 right so output is 0 again you are getting carry 1 after addition ok if you will have these two guys uh, 1 0 and uh, carry is 1 you do the addition you get 1 0 only so carry is 1 that's why it is uh, again coming back here and the output is 0 ok <coughs> let's look at this guy 1 1 1 1 1 is the input this one is the carry so 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 0 plus 1 is 1 so the output is 1 as well as carry is 1 after addition so carry is 1 that's why it is coming back here and output is 1 you can see right finally the last case if you will see 0 0 carry is 1 then you will do the addition you will get output 1 but the carry will be 0 that's why it is changing state after addition from 1 to 0 because the carry is 0 and output is 1 right that is how it is being made so it looks kind of uh, uh, difficult to uh, formulate uh, the written statement or word problem into state diagram but is, this is the most important part in sequential circuit after this everything becomes like um, procedural uh, means whatever procedure you have seen that you have to apply like uh, state diagram is there make state table reduce it if there is any reduction possible make uh, the excitation table minimize expression then make the circuit all this time you have to do the same thing but the most important where the your brain have to come into picture is to formulate or uh, to to make a state diagram of a given word problem so we had serial adder right and how i converted into this uh, state diagram is the most important thing okay so you learn it by experiencing more and more example so that your brain will be tuned to it so let's move on mm. here you can see you have 0 and 1 two states i have made present state next state output okay next states uh, you can see the input combinations because you have two inputs that's why 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and you have only two states so you can fill the table when the input is 0 0 your uh, next state is again 0 uh, but the output is 0 right similarly 0 1 the output is 1 next state is 0 similarly 1 0 the uh, next state is 0 output 1 and finally when 1 1 it is 1 next state is 1 output is 0 now in case of 1 you can see 0 0 it is going to 0 right output is 1 and in rest cases it is going to 1 only and outputs are 0 0 1 right so this will be the uh, uh, state table and you can see both are different so there is no possibility of reduction so this will be your uh, reduced state table as well right now what you have to do is you have to make the excitation table assume that you have to use d flip flop okay that flip flop is d flip flop now i'll make the excitation table and uh, then we gonna minimize it and make the logic diagram same what we were doing before okay now let's see the excitation table so i have made the excitation table here and you can see you have q0 is your present state next state is q0 plus inputs are x1 x0 then excitation is d0 only one flip flop and that is your output so 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 you can see all possible combinations and the present state is 0 all input combinations are there then the present state is 1 all input combinations are there so let's uh, draw the uh, let's make that uh, complete the table 
so q0 plus will be a next state so when uh, the present state is 0 and uh, input is 0 0 what you are having 0 0 1 you are having 0 uh, 1 0 0 1 1 1 right similarly when the present state is 1 present state is 1 input is 0 0 so it is coming to 0 1 1 1 right let's write the output <coughs> so 0 input is 0 so just write as it is 1 1 0 then 1 0 0 1 right and d0 will be equal to q0 only because it is a d flip flop uh, d is equal to q plus only so exactly i'll copy it so this finishes the the excitation table now you will be making uh, the expression for d0 and output uh, so these are the excitations and we will make the circuit then okay so let's make a minimized expression of these two guys okay now let's look at the minimized expression for d0 and sz so 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 you can see when you will have a pairing you have a pair like this so that will be q0 x0 right this one then you have a q0 x1 and then you have x1 x0 similarly if you will pair for z you can see 0 double 1 0 0 1 1 0 then again 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 you can see this will give you a q0 xor q x1 xor x0 if you will uh, look carefully uh, this is the sum expression of full adder and this is carry expression of full adder if you remember okay so you can design it in a full adder manner so you can see a full adder right so this output will be sum and this will be carry carry will be given to d0 right that is what we have seen the block small block like right? flow ladder was there and there was flip flop and output was uh, coming uh, to flip flop right uh, so uh, i'm gonna design it using uh, two half adder so you are already aware of it full ladder and there is an alternate expression of it uh, if you remember so that way uh, that way you can design it using uh, full adder using two half adder so that i will be doing it let me make the design and you will be clear with it okay so now let's look at the circuit here so i have made it in exact similar manner what uh, flip flop uh, sorry uh, full adder was made so there is two half adder you can see and an or gate okay, that makes full adder right so x0 x1 xr is here xor gate so x uh, and there is another xor gate with q0 q0 is serving as carry input and these eyes are input only x0 and x1 so what you are getting z that is your output x1 xor x0 xor q0 that is your sum then you can see these and gates this is x0 x1 and this will be x1 xor x0 and with q0 and or with uh, or these two guys you will be getting d0 this is your carry carry is being given to your d flip flop that is making next at present strain and in then it is feeded to here that q0 right so you can see d0 was what x1 x0 plus x0 x uh, q0 plus q0 x1 this is same as x1 x or x0 uh, q0 plus x0 x1 this expression we have calculated in full adder if you remember uh, when we were uh, doing full adder using half adder so there this is exactly similar to that so this part is your full adder black part this is your flip flop and there is a feedback connection you can see so you can see um, inputs outputs next state present state so it's a sequential circuit okay also you can see that uh, your output depends on input as well as present state right uh, your output uh, and your next state also depends on uh, input and uh, the present state present state is this guy so next state also depends on because d0 depending upon this right you can see from here q0 is coming x1 x0 is coming so both of them the your uh, next state as well as your output both of them are dependent on present state q0 as well as the inputs that is x0 and x1 so this is a millet type of implementation you can see okay let's see the more type so i hope you are getting the practical application means 
uh, how we formulated a serial added uh, and uh, into a state diagram and from state diagram onwards we calculated the uh, sequential circuit we designed the sequential circuit of it let's see a mure version of uh, this uh, serial adder we have seen the mille version mure version also is possible so it's dependent on you how you want to design it either mule type mure type or mille type okay so let's see that